Yeah. Hello. We need an actual oh, intro for this. All right, we are at the Link ECU 50K shootout up in Salem, Indiana. We just came from our 4th of July event, and as you can see, we're already fixing stuff. We haven't even driven yet. Yeah. This, this was Donnie's fault when he was driving Josiah's car and his fuel pump went out and he straightened on the big sweeper and Duarte decided Bobby to... Bobby was coming in top of third gear and uh, made a little love tap. Boop. But yeah, so the coilover lower cup was bent. Boys at BC sent us over a new lower unit. We're just going to clean these threads up a little bit. They're a little gummy. Uh, I'm changing the oil, just addressing a few little things. Probably going to add a little bit of toe in for some more grip. And then uh, we got our new tires and everything mounted as well. So, we ready for the weekend. Pretty short list of stuff to do, which is surprising considering he did like 100 laps in this thing at AMP. He's usually really good at braking stuff. Driving doesn't start till six tomorrow night. So we're gonna have the car ready here shortly. And then we can go goof off for the rest of the day. It's hot here. Fun yeah, fact. it's way hotter in here than in Florida. Yeah, it's really like humid, but yesterday or the day before it was really dry heat. And 105. 105. This weekend's supposed to be even hotter. So everybody that says Florida's hot, it's not. Not like this. This is different heat. Big YouTube filmer guy now. Look at me. Hey! Oh, we on Jimmy's channel. Let's go. Yo, let's go. Hope this makes it into the video. We yeah. out here. We out here. 50K shootout, Linky. official we are here. Got the name on the door and everything. All hot boy like. Yeah. Just like that. Right there. Yeah, right I was pointing to your ass. And I'm like, look at that hot boy sticker. He goes over and it's just you bending over. It was perfect. Yeah. Oh, well, see how it is. It stopped raining. It was supposed to rain all day. It only rained up until like 3. Now it's not raining. It's like 85 and 300% humidity, so it should be good. If it does rain though, we got some really uh, sticky boy tires, so I'm hopeful 
The car performed amazing at AMP. So we're just hoping it's going to perform amazingly today. Duarte is ready to hop in. Cars warmed up. Let's get it going. Oh, and I got you McDonald's show out right there. Mega baby. at anybody's tires. <laughs> What's up, sweet boy? What's up? How was the drive? You good? I'm not a traitor. Look at this motherfucker. What's <laughs> <laughs> up, baby? gave out. Yeah. Josiah has used clutch. We take used clutch parts, good clutch parts, broken clutch parts, stack them all together in a sandwich and make something work. So I got this letting us use this trailer. It has a lift in it. it. Only gets about that high, but at least I'm not crawling around on the floor. came in, Dee was saying his clutch was slipping really bad, so we ended up checking the bolts in the rear end. It wasn't, it, slipping, it wasn't, engaging. It wasn't engaging, I'm sorry. We put it in gear and we let off the clutch and it would just sit there, or actually roll backwards. So it just wasn't disengaging. So Chris took 12 wedge. Chris took the, we took the transmission out and as he was taking out the bell housing, he started pressing it out, with, so there was a lot of pressure in the clutch. So he ended up releasing it from the delay valve and a whole bunch of pressure came out of it. So it's a bad clutch delay valve, which is good for us. That means we don't have to mess with the clutch at all. We just have to take the delay valve out. We got it in and out a bunch in this car. So we're just gonna take it out, right? Just remove it entirely. Clean the slave cylinder while we're in here. Yup. 
So the slave cell always gets gummed up with clutch dust anyways, which sometimes inhibits the clutch from disengaging. But in this case, it was the clutch to lay out. So we're just gonna remove it and then put everything back together and we're gonna go rip some more. So, welcome to racing. Hey, she was just a friend until old girl wanted to hang up. Then she became a little more. I didn't do it. Another reason why I don't like clutch the lay valves. Hey man, one more thing to fail. You know? Just step on the clutch a little bit lighter, you know? But yeah. I understand in competition, your left leg is just, you know. Wham, 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 wham. Exactly. Yeah, you know, it saves clutches, that's for sure. It saves transmission, it saves diffs, it saves axles. You know, clutch the lay valves aren't a bad thing. And when they go bad, you know, if you have a backup, it's really easy. It's three fittings or two fittings and two bolts. So it's not that hard, especially if you make it easy to get to. Like if you put your clutch delay valve inside the compartment of the um, the cabin, instead of like underneath, up behind the transmission, you know. Really good rain tires, so I'm happy with it. Good rain tires and not too many tires. So clutch works, by the way. Yeah, the clutch works. Can confirm. I stalled it four times.
is going to be Duarte Vienna from Drift HQ. For those of you drivers needing parts, they are set up in the pit area for you guys. Duarte bringing a lot to speed around the area for outer zone number one, but leaving a little bit of room there as he pits in a clip number one. Just right along the edge of that touch and go. All the way to the outside edge, and I was on number three. Nice one there. Yes. Top 32. Top 32. So everybody, everybody made it, right? Everybody made it. Mm, Jimmy didn't make it. Jimmy didn't make it? No. I Why didn't Jimmy so. make it? I think his car broke. Ah. Mm -hmm. Who made it? Josiah made it. Duarte made it. Adam made it. Reader made it. Mm, Lewis also made it. So, we're looking good. Got a lot of guys still in it. Hey, dude. Congrats on your win against your rear end. Against you weren't going, my rear end. Yeah, you weren't going against the guy. Of course I you, was. You won against your rear end. You're like, the bumper to leave. It survived, so it's all good. The bumper survived? Yeah, it's right there. Wow. Very strong That's fiberglass. Great. I know. All that bondo over and over, extra fiberglass. Welcome to day three. 
Day three, Duarte tapped the wall yesterday. Fortunately, it was all cosmetic. We won our top 64 battle. We are running a little tight on tires, so we only used scrubs for practice today, but he's got a good feel for the track and a good layout. First battle is gonna be against a pretty slow car, so we got a whole bunch of tire pressure in it so he can kind of slow himself down. From everything we timed just in the first zone, Duarte is seven seconds and he is 11 seconds. So we gotta leave a lot of room for initiation and hope he doesn't reel him in too tight. We know we can run away from him, it's just keeping the car sideways behind him. So, let's do it. Professional, first thing in the morning, know to speak and talk and look all handsome. Good. Hi, Grant. What's up? How you doing? I'm doing good. We're in top 32 today. Yeah, he already said that. Are we gonna, well, did he tell you that we're gonna take home a bunch of money today? Oh. Yeah, we're gonna take home a bunch of money. Right. We got Max. I'll, I'll only put that in the video if that actually happens, though. So. It's going to happen, so it's oh, going to the video. Happen. Yeah, and then we're going to have an all-out ground war with our little BB guns, whatever they're called. It's going to be a great time. I have a, a Adam mark. No, look at my forehead. Oh, that. Oh, what is that? Does it hurt? Yeah. <laughs> hey, don't feel good. Then we got more on the sides. They mark, they mark you up. So Duarte is a very, very, very serious and focused driver. So if I put a GoPro in his car, he doesn't really speak to it. Anyways, you're gonna see a lot of good footage from this guy. Oh. So, getting my food on, I was feeling a little bit queasy, too much sweets in the morning. Yeah, I was telling, I was telling the viewers that you don't like talking to GoPros because you're really focused and you're driving, and he can't do both, you know? No, I cannot. I'm not no. like Adam. Adam is so good. He's like, oh, I'm just here. Yeah, mid-drift, he'll be having a whole conversation with you, but Duarte, not driving, me. that's it. Just drive. Just Focus. drive. Drive and nachos. Win. Those nachos look good. Thank you. Claim their spot to make it all the way out there at the outer wall from Brad Dan in the Super Run. Duarte 
Duarte into the wall. Again, the chase position. Look like you're going to be 46. Oh, it's the tire? The tire he beat it. I don't know if he beat it before or after the ramp spot, too. Duarte did make the repairs to his E46, so maybe both of them claim a spot, but it's going to take a significant bobble or miracle. mistake, yeah, or a miracle from Brad Dan. Well, right now he's in the chase, so this is easy. Yeah, he's just got to follow Duarte here. If he doesn't make any mistakes, he's going to take the top right now. Right now. Right now. Okay. He's going to have to go a little close, take a risk. Duarte goes right over the end of the circuit. This is nice. So this is two guys, two guys. The third back a little bit, this is what he used to do. Big dive from back to play. He takes a bit of a risk on the inside there. Oh, it's all the way over. It takes on this two-way to the rest. He's going to finish about what he's done. Got that making some of his basic moves there to stay in the back of that. He's got to drop that in the way of the two guys. Well, they're going to make it clean across the line. They win where Brad Dan is sitting and Duarte's contact with the wall. We'll wait for the judge's confirmation, but I do believe we'll see Rad Dan in the grade eight. He's going to push it. And he's going to be right down, going through to the top eight. And he's going to go through to the top eight. So I went into the wall, couldn't see anything. It was just a... That's exactly what I told you, that literally you're going to have to react on impulse and, you know, but I didn't see memory. It. It's not like I was going and then I'm like, oh, I'm too close. I had no idea where he was. I was where I needed to be, uh -huh. and the wall just took me. Uh -huh. It was not... I wasn't was it, was trying the car to do okay? anything. Yeah, the car was fine. It broke a wheel. Yeah, that's po that was quite, gonna, the, imp quite yeah. the impact. Besides that, I don't think anything else bent, did it? Or yeah, at least well, we it were a little bit out of toe spec, but yeah. I couldn't find anything that was actually bent. It hit the, hit the back, threw the front end, I just held in, but when I got out of it, the car could still drift, but it was kind of like yeah. cockeyed a little bit. Yeah, you look Five very... minutes, homeboy just jumped on that thing, it. fixed everything, put the toll, and we yeah. did a, uh, look, 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 a very... You know, after clutch. I crash, I was telling um, Austin here, after I crash, I just go bananas. Like, yeah. I wish I could drive with the spirit after I crash. <laughs> it's like, there's nothing else. 
But like I was trying to force a mistake, obviously, yeah. and he almost did. Yeah. He okay. came and he's like, I almost hit the wall twice and I almost spun. So that was my intention, but unfortunately, that was the end of and top you know 16 what our, for our us. Real saving grace was from that wall impact. What? Before AMP, we wanted to make the car look a little nicer, so Duarte threw some uh, 30 mil spacers on the rear of the car. Yeah. So when he hit the wall, didn't touch the body at all. So all it, it just hit was wheel. it just shattered the wheel and faced that instead of destroying the whole recorder panel. See what style gets you, D? Right. <laughs> Stancy things. Love it. That was good. Is that Adam? Yeah, so, I think he won. Oh no, he did. <laughs> you think he won? <laughs> I don't that know where I was putting this video in. If it's gonna happen right after your run or right at the end of the video, I think most likely at the end of the video, let's just wrap it up so that way we can drive a whole 15 hours back home tomorrow or tonight. Leave uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Tomorrow? Hours. Tonight. Tomorrow in two hours. All right, we're leaving tonight apparently. So the spotter over here, Gabe Vienna, Duarte's oldest. You pretty much gauge what the other driver is doing and tell them how aggressive and what line to take and how what approach to take every single lap, right? I gave them all the right tips. I mean, the clipboard. Where's the clipboard? Well, Where's you gave them all the right tips and whatnot, but FD car, FD driver, smoke, all different factors. I think it was just, it wasn't the right time. He, it was close. It was close, but you know, Rad Dan is a rad driver as name states but it came uncompetitive when like you go against a pro FD car nitrous 800 horsepower as the car comes without nitrous versus 700 with the turbo no nitrous either Rad Dan is a smoke show I gave him the best we could do told him launch at the right time stay in the pocket don't overextend because he has one weak point that's the touch and go if he had a head crash we would have had a good chance a really really good chance because his chase, or no, his lead, his lead was on it. Like he was like, ah, pedal to the metal. So I love how you and your dad make the same exact sounds of like when a car accelerates. Ah, you and your dad do the same thing, believe me. What's up? What'd you do today? Nothing. Nothing. Not Nothing. Nothing. He changed tires. Oh, he changed tires. So this is uh, Duarte's also. second oldest. Got footage for him to run back to see what the change is of. Wow. So big big drifter kids. 14, 16. This is me next year. That's you next year? Oh. Hello. So, this is probably going to be the last chance. I have to film something while we're still at the track. Get it right here. Mr. Adam. What's up? Wrapping up my video. Congrats. Thank you, man. All right, I appreciate it. Can you see that? Nope. I'm holding on this with my life, dude. I'm going to take a shower with it. Water's money proof, right? Mother, mo money's waterproof. Bro, you need some rest. I need some milk. <laughs>